but I want to set the foundation for the problem you know you're trying to solve with this new technology and it has something to do with transporting cargo what's the current state of cargo transport vehicles yeah so um right now if you're wanting to move stuff across oceans you have exactly two options you have you put it on an aircraft and it gets there very fast and you spend a whole lot of money to do that or you put it on a cargo ship it doesn't cost you nearly as much but it can take 20 to 40, depending on certain circumstances, 60 days door to door to get it there. So you really have fast and expensive or you have slow and low cost. The thing is, when you look at moving cargo over land, we have a few other options because you still have air freight, you still have rail, which are analogous to air and ocean, but you also have trucking in the middle. It's kind of that fills that middle option of speed and cost. And that's really what we're doing with Leviathan is to kind of fill that gap because the problem is we've spent the last 60 years optimizing towards those two extremes, uh -huh. but we don't have a middle option that is kind of a balance between speed and cost. It's really, really hard to go fast over water. Yeah without it costing a whole lot of money. Because uh -huh. if you try and make a ship go a lot faster, you just end up using a whole lot more fuel because it takes a lot of effort to kind of push your way through water yeah. at a higher speed. Even hydrofoils have this issue. Uh, you can theoretically fly a plane slower, but the amount that you save in fuel mm -hmm. um, gets offset by the added time of the flight and your operating costs and the mm -hmm. fact that you're not carrying enough cargo. So it ends up costing you more or it makes it less economical to do it that way. So, yeah. Plus, plus, plus the higher you go, uh, uh, the less fuel you use and, yeah. and the faster you can go without yeah. sacrificing anything else. Yeah, most aircraft, the way you want to run them is you want to be as high and uh, kind of fast as you can be because yeah. that makes the process more efficient for typical aircraft. Can you summarize, quickly summarize what advantages you're pulling from both extremes right now? Yeah, uh, I mean, so the, the fun part about ground effect vehicles, especially larger size ones, is it is literally the most efficient way to fly, like to actually be traveling at aircraft speeds. Mm -hmm. um, it also means they, ground effect vehicles benefit from scale. So the bigger you make them, the safer and more efficient they are because you can be higher off the water surface, which means you can fly over larger waves and still be safe and efficient, which means it's really kind of combining a dramatic increase in tonnage that you can carry compared to an aircraft while still maintaining that travel speed of an aircraft. So it's, it's balancing out the speed. You're also doing double the efficiency of an aircraft. So burning about half as much fuel per ton, um, which lends itself more towards how shipping does. Because even though it's slow, it's very, very fuel efficient. Um, it just takes a long time to get anywhere. <laughs>